I'm not coach right now. I'm your conscience. You're, you're in a fight between will and skill. I say will first because that's where you are. You locked and loaded with skill. You practicing every day. You putting in your work. You buying every fell off the wagon. You been on alcohol and drugs and you gave up on life and you dropped out or you been to jail one time, two times, three times and you really want your dream to happen and you putting in your work and nothing's happening yet. Every transformation always gets worse before it gets better. It's supposed to be that way. When you embark this journey, you must know that it's gonna go down before it comes up. But when it comes up, it's gonna go so much higher than you've ever been. The action of making progress is progress. The, the push itself, the fight, you get up and swing and miss, that's progress. You get up and you run at, at what you want with everything you got and you miss, that's progress. The effort of making the attempt is progress. It must happen. It can't do anything but move. You can do anything but make progress. You pushing and you're pushing and you're pushing and you're pushing and you're doing everything right. You're tired, you're exhausted and ain't nothing happening yet. That word is what you're waiting for. Yet, because I promise you, if you keep pushing, if you keep giving me all your effort, it will happen. You have to be equipped mentally to endure this process. Knowing what you're about to go into is step one. Knowing it's an uphill battle, but a winnable one and one that's achievable. And at the end of this race, guys, you're gonna be more capable. The first step, guys, is knowing it's a tough road. As soon as you decide to stop looking for answers in other people and miracles somewhere down the yellow brick road and click the heel of your mind and set your affections on things that are above, you could have been free years ago. All jealousy, all pettiness, all unforgiveness, all strife, all malice, all confusion, all blaming other people for your mistake. You got till midnight to get rid of every poison that's hindering you, every inflexibility that's stopping you from what God is about to pour into your life. Woe be unto you if you go into another year and waste another year with the old mentality while somebody's in the hospital begging God for the opportunity that you have right now. You better step into this moment.